Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process how you can easily use ProtonMail. So let's start. When you're going to enter ProtonMail, on the left side you will, be, you will see Inbox, Drafts, Send, Start, Archive, Spam, Trash, or Folders and Labels. Labels. What you can do is to simply add a label but we will get to it and how you can use those. Then on the right top you can simply upgrade to plus professional visionary then you have contacts here and you can report the bug and then you can log out and access like tutorials here now when you go back to button mail and when you're gonna click on inbox you can simply see the messages and when you're gonna enter the message on the right side you can see the email that you're gonna get and what you can do is to move it to somewhere else you can label it and create a new label. So let's say that I'm going to create a new folder. Folder name is, can be, let's say, work, save. Okay. And you can see that in folders labels, I have my own folder with work. Then what you can do is you can also create a new label as a work and then you will be able to uh, see it here folder work work one and we can see that we got it as a tag and also as a folder so this is what you can do and you can simply reply reply all forward or you can move it to trash markets spam report phishing view headers right when you come here to compose and how you can actually compose the email is really simple and it's kind of similar to Gmail. So I got from to. Okay, subject. This is a subject mail. And as you can see, hi there. I can make it bold, italic, underline, order list, text options here. Then you can make it bigger. You can insert link, you can also insert image here. Or you can clear all, all formatting. Then you can simply add attachment. Uh, you can have an expiration time. This message will expire in. So when it's going to expire, uh, you're going to see encryption here. Encrypt for non proton mail users. And now message, let's go like this. Okay, click set. And voila, end to end encrypted. Delete draft, save or send. When I'm going to send it, I will I'll go to my email, like if it's going to actually get here. Okay, here we have it. Look at this. Password in none, expiration. View secure message. So I'm going in incognito. And let's see how it actually looks like. A message password. And voila, here we got it. This is subject email. And now what you can do is to reply to it. And then I'm just going to reply from this email back to myself. Message sent. And let's look how it looks like. And here we got it. So this was my message from, and here it is. But what I can see is that sometimes it's difficult if you're gonna have like a lot of emails, uh, it won't be that easy to actually mm, get a hold on to, right? Uh, if you're gonna like 50 emails, imagine how lost you will be here. The kind of one disadvantage I personally see in ProtonMail is that you're not going to have a lot of... A mm, lot of options, a lot of integrations. So ProtonMail is really great uh, if you want to use it for... <clears throat> I don't know, let's say... 
uh, just sending the secured messages in that regard using portal mail is really effective but personally i would use it if i want to just use uh, gmail or g suite for business it's much better comparing to proton mail so let's say that you want to sell something you don't want people to find out uh, you want to send some critical information in that regard proton mail is good but other than that i don't know if i would go with it so when you go under inbox you would see drafts here this is where you would find all the drafts then send the messages and you can mark it as a red or mark it as an unread and then it just goes back you can simply move things to trash let's say i'm going to archive this one here you can move to spam and then you can uh, filter it by size date and then you can see clearly the start and spam here so this is pretty much it how you can use proton mail i don't know what else should i share with you i mean using proton mail is pretty simple i hope my video was at least kind of helpful if you have any questions just ask me down in the comments i'm really happy to help you oh so you know how it goes you know how it is and yeah thank you very much guys have a great day and goodbye see ya